In this video, we're looking at a swimming pool that's 18 by 36 with an average depth of six feet. And that means it has a deep end that's, you know, nine feet or maybe even just a little bit more than nine feet deep. And so the volume of the pool is about 29,160 gallons. Our filtration goal for this variable speed pump schedule that we're setting up is ideally going to be three times the volume of the pool to ensure that we filter at least 95% of all of the water in the pool at least one time. The parameters we're looking at here is this system has two inch PVC, one and a half horsepower, variable speed pump, and the TDH is 30. So this schedule is going to be not the most economical because the pool is very large. That's a, that's a huge swimming pool. And we are following the, you know, to the letter here about filtering the water three times every 24 hours. Real world situations, some pool owners elect to filter their water a lot less than that. But we're showing that designing an optimum schedule here, which really is better for you and your swimming pool, is not all that expensive. You know, the reality is, is that if you don't filter all of the water in your pool, then chlorine just has to now deal with that all the organic debris and, and bacteria that was left in there that wasn't filtered out and the name of the game for pool owners seems to be they want to use less chemicals have less chlorine exposure things like that so filter your water more it's the first thing that you can and should be doing and with a swimming pool that's almost thirty thousand gallons when you go buy the book and filter the entire volume three times every day, that's 87,480 gallons that we need to filter every day. That is a heck of a lot of water. And so you're gonna notice that on this variable speed schedule here, the low starts at 1750. Sometimes it could start 700 or 900 and run that way for 12 or 15 or 18 hours a day sometimes even. But on this big pool, that's not the case. We're starting low at 1750, which will get us about 45 gallons per minute. And we're doing that for about eight hours a day. This pool requires a mid high of 2300 RPM. And we're gonna get 65 gallons per minute. And it's gonna run that way for 12 hours a day. This is a little bit different than I often do this. In that way, you're gonna notice that the bulk of the filtration is coming from that 12 hour block of time. But that's just what we had to do in order to get the filtration totals that we needed. The high is going to be 3000 RPM, 81 gallons per minute, 1500 watts of power consumption during that period. And it's only for four hours that we'll be doing that and that nets us 19,440 gallons total, 87,840. We needed 87,480, and we got that in just a little bit more. Let's take a look at those right now. So 1750, 45 gallons per minute, and 371 watts. That's what we should be seeing here. The system's currently running with single two inch suction line, one and a half horsepower variable speed pump, 150 square foot cartridge filter. And we're measuring through this two inch line to this flow meter that has been adapted with the digital readout that we're reading from. So as you can see here, we're up to 1750 RPM. and we're getting 45 gallons per minute. Going over to the power consumption, 370, some variance there, but the, on average we're seeing about 373 watts. Secondary meter reading the same. So now we're gonna look at 2300 RPM, 65 gallons per minute, 750 watts. Looking for 65, we've got 64. Sometimes it's got a little bit of a variance there. Just a bit over 750. A 
All right, now 3,000 RPM, 81 gallons per minute, 1,500 watts of power consumption. Let's take a look at the pressure gauge here. I see that as about seven. Not sure how how clearly you can read that, but I read that as about seven psi. Eighty-one gallons per minute. Fifteen hundred watts. One point five kilowatts. So the cost for all of this operation is summed up down here, 371 watts times 8 hours, 750 watts times 12 hours, and 1500 watts times 4 hours. Our grand total is 17,968 watts, or 17.97 kilowatts power consumption. The national average being 13 cents per kilowatt hour, you could take that number times 13 cents per kilowatt hour and arrive at two dollars and 34 cents per day to operate the pool such that we are filtering 87,000 gallons 87,840 gallons every day 234 that's 70 dollars basically per month it's pretty good if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.